Hi there, Lee Greg, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through the round corner shader. So this shader modifies the shading normals near edges to give the appearance of a round corner. It can be used with hard surface models where bevels haven't been modeled to simulate a round beveled edge. So in this example, we've got a hard edged model without any bevels. When we apply the round corners, we get uh, the appearance of a beveled edge. Okay, so if we start off with standard surface shader and then create a round corner shader and connect the out value round corners to the normal camera of the standard surface shader. Now, if we just assign it to one cube, we won't see any round corners in between the cubes in the intersection. So see if we assign it to one here, you can see it's not getting a round corner between the two cubes. So we need to select, assign it to all of the cubes. And there you go, you can see the round corner in between the two, the two cubes. However, the effect is way too much. You can see it's breaking up here because the radius is set too high. So we need to lower the radius, uh, something like 2.03. If we go any higher, it starts to break apart. So we need to keep the values quite low. So 0 0.03. Also got a, a self only attribute. So you can see if we enable that, we don't get round corners between the objects. I've got another production scene here. This is a robot scene, a lot of hard surface models, ideal for round corners. I'm just gonna create a snapshot so we can see the difference. Again, create round corners, out value to the normal camera, the standard surface. I'm just gonna increase the radius a little bit here, 0.3, so we can see the difference. So there we go, that's without round corners and that's with, you can see the difference it makes beveled edges. Now there's also the normal AAV which we can create which will we can use to visualize the round rounded shading effect on the normals. So again creating a snapshot so we can see a before and after and if we put the radius back down to zero you see how the corners how the round corners rounding the shading normals geometry. So that's the introduction to the round corner shader in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.